What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about is the market crashing or what's really going on here? Because a lot of you guys seem to be a little bit frustrated in regards to what your stocks are actually doing and you know where the market is overall. Clearly here we are in the market. We can see that you know once we hit that 394 area, we had that panic selling happening in a lot of the tech names, but now the market's pushing up, but a lot of the tech names are still struggling, okay? Um, you know, today we pushed all time highs in the market. We hit 397.83, slightly pulled back, but once we pulled back in that little bit of it, um, you know, intraday activity, the tech sector actually decided to pull back a lot more. So we hit that 397.83, we pulled back to 395, and you know, we kind of closed at a pretty average range, right? But let's take a look at a few of the tech names, and this goes back to what I've been talking about for some time now, and coming into you know short-term moving averages. And what does that really mean? So let's take a look at Tesla, for example, guys. All right, short-term moving averages. We broke both short-term moving averages. We came down, all right? Now, as we're moving back up, what we're seeing happening here is these short-term moving averages. And this time, in this regards, this is the 20-day um, exponential moving average. And this is the 50-day um, simple moving average. We are coming up towards these and these short-term EMAs are acting as resistance, right? So we can see we came up. We're kind of starting to get some selling pressure and we could very easily come back and roll back down a little bit here, right? We need to come back and reclaim both these moving averages in order for us to come back to the highs. If we can't do that, we're gonna sell over, we're gonna roll over and try to at least test a little bit of the lows here, possibly the low right here, all right? Let's take a look at another name that's in the tech sector, all right? We have Roku. So Roku, again, lost both two moving averages. We came down this 362 area is starting to act like resistance and we still have these short-term moving averages above us acting as a resistance so if we fail to reclaim these short-term moving averages we can really easily come back down towards this 316 area and then roll back over down towards that 280 all right another one that we can take a look at here is um Shopify is another one that we can look at, for example, right? Again, lost the two moving averages and pinned below the two moving average and the 200 long-term moving average, right? So the 20 and the 50 is the short term and the 200 is the longer term, right? Let's take a look at another name. <clears throat> we can take a look at Piton, right? Same thing, we lost that two moving averages right here and now this is starting to act as resistance, right? It's pinched between the, the 20 and the 50 and the long-term moving average is right here. So this is a crucial area for Piton. If we lose that, we're actually gonna fall over, uh, which is not gonna be a great sign for Piton, right? Um, what else can we look at? We can look at Netflix, another one that we can look at. Again, same type of chart, right? All these tech names are below the 20 and the 50, and the 200 is the only support in the long-term um, support that it kind of has, right? So here we are again, we pushed up above the 20, but look what happened. We rejected that 50-day moving average and we closed under the 20-day moving average. So all these short-term EMAs and simple moving averages are acting as resistance in the tech sector, right? Now, if we look at other names, for example, um, let's take a look at MGM. What is MGM doing? MGM above both moving averages, the short term 20 and the 50, um, holding up fairly well, might pull back a little bit <clears throat> to hold that 20 moving average and continue higher. These are reopening stocks, right? These are stocks who have um, you know, been getting a lot of love recently and they are essentially the opposite of what's happening in the tech sector. Here we go again, Delta Airlines, right? We pushed back, you know, came into the short term support and we pushed up, right? Same thing again, if we look at Halliburton, right? Sorry, not Halliburton, Hyatt Hotels. Here we are again, pulling back into the support and bounced up. Pull back today was a little bit on light volume, which is fine, not concerning at all, but this can really easily turn around and go up. All right, guys? So that's where we're standing is the market today. Is the market gonna crash? The market in general, not really, not the market itself. Uh, maybe tech names might pull back a little bit more, but reopening stocks, industrials, consumer cynicals, um, these things are still looking strong and still continue to remain strong. All right, guys, so don't panic. Just make sure you're diversifying your portfolio and you're able to rotate um, you know, from what's, what's strong and what's not strong. Don't just be fully focused on one sector. All right, guys, if you guys did appreciate this video, I would love it if you guys can like this video. Go ahead, smash the like button. Let's get to around 50 likes. I would really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so when I do post a video, you will all get notified on your phone. You can come back and watch it. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have a wonderful day. Take care.